A day after Times Now aired the tell-all interview of the eyewitness to the events that led to the death of National Conference Party worker, Party President Farooq Abdullah has lashed out in what was a very short news conference, but one that did not belly under the Omar government. Please, anybody can mention anybody's name. How can you stop them? You cannot stop them. They are welcome to say anything. Who stops anybody? I don't stop anybody. This is a, this is a democratic country. It is not an autocratic country. I don't mind. Let them say. They say what them what they say. Let them say what they say. But what serious matter? He said one crore for bada post, fifty lakh for the chhota. Please, I want to ask you. All these MLAs are sitting there. MLCs are asked them who has paid one crore, who has paid uh, whatever fifty lakhs. Ask them. National Conference has not asked ever for money for any seat. They have chosen people without money, thank God, and in future also they will choose people without money. He wa they want a lot of things. They want National Conference government to disappear. That is their main aim. That has been their aim from the first day. When National Conference Congress sat in, they went to the Congress and said, we don't want any post, don't ask National Conference to come in. So it is nothing new. They are only after national conference. Otherwise, this government is composed of two, Congress and national conference. But you see their attack has always been under national conference, never on Congress. Look, Farooq Abdullah has nothing to do with it. Farooq Abdullah is not a party to this. Whatever will come, will come in judicial inquiry. Wait till judicial inquiry takes place, you will know. We are very much clear, we have nothing to hide. What more do you want to tell? Well, there are serious allegations, those people should wait till judicial inquiry will take place. What, is there? what more do you want? A judge is going to find out. A truth will come out. Where they are not uh, 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 telling Omar about the scandal? Did they not apologize then? Yes. I will apologize on this also, I, prom I promise you. It is a political stunt. They don't want to have National Conference Congress government to stay. They want power. They want power at all costs. And that is why they are leveling all sorts of charges. Otherwise, Umar, on his own, has asked for a judicial inquiry. It is a national conference worker that has died. Why are they beating their chest for it? What is the problem about it? Whether he claims or he does not claim, I have nothing to say about anything except judicial inquiry has been ordered. Everything will be clear before everybody, not only for the people of the state, but people of the nation will see what the truth is. Now, even while Farooq Abdullah held fort overtly at least defending his son, the Jammu and Kashmir chief minister himself was stoic in his silence, tweeting but not speaking, alleging a media trial. Facts have been twisted, distorted and presented in a completely unrelated manner. That was the last time the world heard the Jammu and Kashmir chief minister speak, but not without riders. The only request I can make to the media is please allow the facts to speak for themselves. Don't editorialize or distort facts. Even as the questions piled up with newer revelations, all Omar had to say was to allege a trial by media, but adamant on not clearing the air. Even as Times Now, following the story relentlessly, asked him for his comments. Why doesn't, why doesn't Umar Abdullah come on your channel? Why doesn't? What is the question? What, why what is the question? Why doesn't Umar Abdullah come on our channel and debate this issue? Why does Umar Abdullah not come on your channel? Why doesn't Umar Abdullah come on our channel? Be honest. 
Be honest to the people. Why does it become on your channel? We have asked him. Then let us see the truth comes out. Kindly, kindly. Don't make wild yes. allegations. Yes. Don't make allegations which have no basis. Thank you very much. I'm short of time and as I'm wrapping up, I'm only saying one thing at the very end. I cannot outshout you. I'm saying one thing at the very end. Omar Abdullah should come on this channel. We cannot give him a platform, unfortunately. But we can certainly ask him the direct questions that he needs to answer. Omar in Delhi on Thursday continued to refuse to comment, sticking to his stand that he would not answer, no matter how glaring the questions. Even tweeting on the media teams following him around, reiterating that he won't speak. With the opposition mounting an attack, I mean, nothing can be far away from the truth. There is no judicial probe. They are trying to hide behind something which, is, which does not exist at all. And even if it comes into force, it's going to take months altogether. And even his father defending himself, the pressure on Omar to come clean is more than ever now. Bureau Report, Times Now.